Hello everyone, I'm Anime Freak and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Animation Rewinds uh, Mewtwo vs Sans. Now if you haven't seen this video, make sure you go in the description box below and link to that video. As soon as you watch that, come back and watch me watch this. So, so let me continue. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Sans with this one because apparently, according to uh, Animation Rewind, he's pretty freaking powerful. But on the other hand, we have Mewtwo that can go um, like... Like two of the forms, probably maybe. If it, it depends if he's using those forms. Uh, I, I, okay, if you, if you want my opinion, I actually want you two to win this. But um, given how much, uh, yeah, what's what's how, how powerful Sans is. Uh, yeah, I think I think Sans is gonna win this one, most likely. So um, yeah, well that's it and done. Let's get to watching. Okay, so this is um, Animation Rewinds, uh, Sans vs. Mewtwo, and 3, 2, 1, and go! I'm back, bitches! <laughs> so this is a return. Oh, hey! What's up everyone? Welcome to the 153rd episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm so you see, host, Sans vs Pikachu. Did, have you I already done that? Series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's cool. episode was animated by... It's me! I can't believe you put me through animating this episode, Rewind. I know you promised no Sans for January, but seriously, the first episode in February is going to be another Sans fight? Well, February is the month of love, and yeah, this battle will feature a fight between the ultimate Pokemon Mewtwo and Sans the Skeleton. With all this uh, I'm getting sick of seeing this guy. <laughs> not, not, not that I hate him, it's just that... <sighs> really love Sans, don't you? As you said, February is the month of love. What do you mean by this? Is it? Really? Is Sans your I thought, Valentine? I thought, I thought it was, um, March. Good grief, no. I was implying that I love supporting my fans with their number one requested character. Uh, Seriously? People actually like this guy. Well, me and you both know that this I'm not, 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 not saying that he's bad or anything, it's just that I just don't understand. You've literally jacked this poor skeleton off about... A mm, hundred times now, give or take eighty-five. Whoa, whoa, it's way less than a hundred. <laughs> I really can't say anything new about Sans. A little review wouldn't hurt. Really, a little review wouldn't hurt. Maybe the second time or the third time around. But after fifteen times, how much review can you gargle down? I, I can't accept this pre-cum response of your overdose of Sans. Just admit you love the bastard. Maybe I can have some type of understanding behind this madness! Hey now, watch your language. Sans is not a bastard. <laughs> Do you even know the definition of a bastard? <laughs> Look it up! It is literally an illegitimate child who does not know their legitimate parents! This is exactly what Sans is, at least I think, because I don't remember him talking about any daddy issues in the game. Mm. Now admit that you love him so I can get you through reservations at Fiji! Look, dude, I'm being Fourth honest. Love I have awareness. no affection for Sans. I don't even swing that way, bro. You really need to move on from this subject. I... you... you know what? I don't drop the argument easily. But don't tell me to move on from things. You are the one that needs to move on from the idea of Sans episodes in yep. general. Yep. I'm not the problem here. I'm the diagnosis. So... Uh -huh. that sink in the next time you try to pin me as the blame for this Sans mess. Uh, look, this is just getting out of hand. Why don't we just discuss some of Sans' abilities? No, I'm gonna have fun with this one. <clears throat> sure. Timeline awareness. What the hell's that? 
funny bone for puns. He's got a skeleton amount of bones to throw at his opponents. And he has the spine for lifting the souls of his foes. And he's a bona fide boss in the Undertale game. <laughs> that was funny. really punny, bro. And with that in mind, Very punny. Sans but is exactly what Sand Warlord X mentioned him to be. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Hey, rewind. Aren't you psyched to discuss this next character? Dude, drop the puns. Those were for Sans only. This is Mewtwo now. Okay, wow, good. You have to be kitten me. You must be really handsy when it comes to puns about other characters than Sans. I guess you really are a Stephen Hawking ripoff. But fine. If you want to have a stale Mewtwo introduction, be my guest. Okay. Uh, thanks. Mewtwo is the Thank ultimate you. Pokemon. He was born in a lab created by Dr. Fuji. This doctor did everything he could to try and resurrect his deceased daughter. Sadly, however, due to a last-minute decision to erase all of Mewtwo's memories, this experiment was a complete failure, resulting in Mewtwo having hatred and anger towards his creators and humanity itself. Okay, okay, we get it. Okay. Mewtwo has a generic genetic experiment birth sub story, which sounds like a rejected low end rip off Dragon Ball backstory, and looks like he should be on Facebook's viral videos every other day. But none of that info is actually important to his current traits and abilities. Simply because not only did Mewtwo grow out of his anger towards humanity, but he's also helped humanity quite a few times. That's a good point. Now that Mewtwo is changed, he has developed many useful abilities and attacks, such as his signature ghost-type Shadow Ball and Psychic Telekinesis. The Shadow Ball deals great damage and has a 20% chance of lowering its target's special defense. Mewtwo also knows moves such as the Psycho Cut and Miracle Eye. The Miracle Eye can reset an opponent's evasiveness, and when he lands his cut attacks, each hit has an increased critical hit ratio. All of that, and we can't forget that Mewtwo is not just a mindful opponent, but is a physical powerhouse. He has the flight speed to surpass Earth's escape velocity, which clocks him at over 30 times the speed of sound, or at least wow. 25,000 miles per hour. He's strong enough to lift boulders and metallic robots twice his size. Mewtwo has an attack range that can stretch entire continents, and with his mega evolutions, oh. take everything you currently know about the guy and shift those thoughts into full gear. And if you think that mega evolutions were just Nintendo's marketing ploy for X and Y, you're right. It is. But mega Mewtwo X and Y aren't forms that you want to go against. If Mewtwo's base form is regarded as a heavy-hitting powerhouse, it won't be hard to understand that these mega forms are essentially double trouble. Did I just say that? Overall, <laughs> Mewtwo is the ultimate psychic type Pokemon. He has extremely dangerous telekinetic and ghostly attacks that he has. Ghostly attacks? He's not even a ghost type. And now, He's a psychic. Let's get ready for the fight. This battle is going to take place in Mewtwo's cave with no prep. Let the battle begin. Cool. Ultimate Pokemon. And I will not lose to the likes of you. This will be good. Oh, my God. Did you think I was just going to stand there and take it? That's what they want. Yeah. They are. Is this some kind of joke? What the hell? Okay, come on, Mewtwo. Take this, this guy's sons down because he's starting to annoy me. That is enough, you skeleton. Uh, his, uh, the, the, the way he said that was so cool. That's, That's enough, you skeleton. That's so cool. Come on, Mewtwo, please take him down. How dare you? Nice. 
sons. Really, nigga? Oh no. I'll just back in Dr. Jam, I'll, I'll like that. Throw the fight. I, I should throw the fight. Kill Lara. I, I don't think Mewtwo's a, um, a cat, is he? That went. I can't take your soul then. Just be careful they're not done with you. You'll join us one day for your freedom. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Because I'm getting really sick and tired of Sans. No disrespect to his fans, of course. I'm just. It, I mean, if he's just a. What a great way to start off the month. You did a neat job on that animation, Sand Warlord X. And also, special thanks to the Orange Diamond for playing the voice of Mewtwo. Yeah. I think it goes without saying that it's always smart to start off the month with a bang. But. enough to cast the orange diamond as mute too and if any of you found the slightest enjoyment out of that you might as well just subscribe hopefully you do subscribe and now let's discuss why mewtwo defeated sans yeah rewind you better get out of here before those really rare yet very salty undertow fanboys come after you for your own safety now leave this recording booth uh, okay i'm out of here Oh, that was so much easier than I thought. All right, I guess I'm just gonna have to finish this on my own. Alrighty, folks, listen up. If you were honestly surprised by the ending of this matchup, I have no idea what you guys were surprised about. I could be nice and say that Sans might be more skilled and possibly smarter, but by anyone who knows the power of both of these characters, you would clearly understand that Mewtwo can do things that Sans just cannot compete with. Now, while Sans does have some powerful magical attacks that can do some serious damage on Mewtwo, Mewtwo has attacks that can reach out to entire continents. It would only take one Dragon Ball ripoff attack to put the poor Ketchupolic down. <laughs> Not only that, but Mewtwo also has the speed to break the Earth's escape velocity, which is more than enough to dodge anything Sans can throw at him. To add to this, it may even allow him to blitz Sans at some point. Mewtwo can also cancel out a lot of Sans' telekinetic attacks with his more widespread telekinesis. The fact of the matter is, Mewtwo can do everything Sans can, but better. He was created to be a perfect telekinetic killer cat. The most Sans He's not a cat, is, is he? Karmic retribution, but Mewtwo counters that with his recover. Mewtwo has a counter for all of Sans' attacks, including his teleportation with his almighty future sight. Unfortunately for Sans, this was a fight he just couldn't put enough backbone into. Uh -huh. I forgot to grab my... Wait a minute, you don't care about my safety, you just wanted to take my hosting position. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look dude, the fact that you were dumb enough to fall for that gag in the first place is proof that the occurrence is your fault, Rewind. Don't go pinning your faults on me. Fine, touche, you got a point. And to be fair, you weren't wrong about Mewtwo. This Pokemon is just on another level in terms of actual attack potency and range. I guess you can say that Mewtwo should now be placed as Mew1. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I should have ended the segment alone. It would have been better if I had done it alone. Bad jokes are still bad jokes, even if you were self-aware about them. Uh -huh. uh, whatever, let's just move on. Now, if you want to see Mew and Mew 2 face Sans and Papyrus in a two on two rematch, all you gotta do is. So, like what's it? Wouldn't that technically, yell? Um, this video gets 15,000. Wouldn't that technically, yell? Um, make, um, 
give, give me Mewtwo more of an edge than Sans. Check out that suit. Check out that ah, <laughs> dude. Lots, lots of, lots of fun, fun uh, service in this. If you guys want to see some stuff that I'm working on exclusively okay. for CFC, come visit me on my Twitter at BTL Awesomeness and subscribe to me on YouTube at my channel, the Saiyan Warlord X, because sometimes I get lonely. <laughs> I am the Orange Diamond. I'm guessing uh, Teen Gohan wasn't uh, uh, there. <laughs> Oh, th thank, thank, go thank goodness. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Okay, I have no, I have no disrespect towards like any of the, the, the fans of Sans or, or whatever. But let me tell you something, guys. Come on, we've seen this guy over a million times already, and I mean, I mean, is 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 that all he's in? He's just in a in a in a game. That's all he's in. A game. Yeah, maybe it's something I don't I don't understand. Maybe it's something that. Uh, you know, I need I need to I need to experience in order to get get what's going on, but oh, oh if if I I don't know, I mean he look he looks he looks cool and all, but I don't I don't know I don't I don't see what the appeal is. Like but like I said, no no disrespect. It's it's just that you know seeing Sans over and over and over and over and over again just gets tiresome. I mean, I mean, considering he, he wins all the freaking time, except except for this one, this one, this one, uh, um, episode. So yeah, let's let's see. Um, I, I want to see Discord from My Little Pony versus uh, the Genie from Aladdin. I want to see uh, uh, Margin Boo versus Kirby. I want to see um, Martian Manhunter versus Boo. Uh, what else is there? Um, blah, 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 blah. um yeah, that's basically that's basically yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I already I already gave um yeah you know, my thoughts on this. So yeah, now if there's like any anime related or my little pony related or ruby related stuff out there, you guys are interactive. There's a there's a link down in the description box below. There's a link to that video. Who's watched that? Come back watch. <laughs> what, what, what am I talking about? Sorry, of it's. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I do apologize. I'll say it again. Now, if you guys want to, now if you guys uh, have any anime related, ruby related, or my pony related stuff, just leave, leave, leave a link in the comment section uh, below, and I will get to that video as soon as I can. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, they're down there in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!